He may have maturity. I felt like you don't have authority. You have a responsibility, but no authority. That's what I feel. And those are some strong words, but Joya? Yes. You didn't ask for another date with him. What was the turnoff? Specifically, the turnoff was when I asked that question make up right about now. would you date a single mother? And Jacoby, you proceeded to tell me that basically you're a high value man and you are too good for a single mother. However, you did also tell me that you were raised by a single mother, which is profound for me to think that a single mother is not good enough for you, but it's good enough for a woman to raise you. Here we go with this baby bop bimbo babble. It's funny because she's looking like, yeah, I told him. She really thinks she said something. Really, it was very elementary. Sounds like it came from a third grader. You know what, I take that back because that's an insult to the third graders. Sounds like it came from a preschooler. She's like, your mama was a baby mama, so why you won't date a baby mama? Like, girl, first of all, he did not make the mistake. He was not the parent, he was a child. So why are you expecting him to follow her and make the same mistake that she made, that you also made? Yeah, you. Because that's what it's really all about. You're a baby mama and you're just mad at him for not wanting to date you. Never mind that you got this big goofy simp sitting next to you that you've been with for a while and you're trying to pressure him into proposing to you. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to him in a second. Shout out to my sister Miss Ming for sitting this clip in. It's from the Oprah Winfrey Network. It's a show called Put a Ring on It. And I'm not too familiar with the show because everything over there, especially involving relationships, is on some woman king boss chick. Let's all find some dumb simps and beat them into submission to bow down to the queen mother Shea Butter God. I'm talking about every single clip I ever get from over there. It's that same energy. It's just disgusting. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Let's go ahead and get into it. That's unfair. And it's very insensitive to women out there who have children. Him saying I'm not going to take care of your children from another man is being insensitive? No ma'am, you're the one being insensitive to not only expect that a man is supposed to invest in you and your kids, but to outright demand it like you're entitled to it. That's crazy. All right, so just because it's a cycle I wanted to, wanted to continue? I'm it doesn't have so, to continue. So what I'm saying is, it's, is that- It's more about why would you cut off and say that single women are because not on the same level. what you're supposed to learn from is history. So really really what's that got to, no, no, to do? And look, it's always some simp trying to cover for these modern women. First, let's get to the elephant in the room. This woman don't respect you as a man and I see why. Any man dealing with a woman who will want him to participate in a show like this is already losing in life. Brother, you got the wrong woman. From my understanding, the whole premise of the show is a woman who's been with a man for a while and now she's thinking it's time for them to get married. He won't propose to her, so she's taking him on the show to pressure him to do it by bringing him on there and letting other men date his woman. They're trying to create chaos, jealousy, and use that energy to make the man put a ring on it. The silliest thing I've ever heard, and Will Packer, I do not like that you are behind this show. It's deceptive, it's manipulative, it's satanic. I don't like it. He should wrap this show up and find some other kind of message to push, but this one ain't it. And then the whole time, this woman was allowed to speak without being interrupted. But whenever it's a man's time to speak, she can interrupt him and even have this big Dumbo, this simp, help her. I'm telling you, these simps are dangerous. Like Mr. Simpson need to pipe it down because the fact that you're on this show in the first place, you're exposing yourself as a man who would allow his woman to run him. Very no, no, intelligent no, no, no. woman. You're a very intelligent woman, right? Yes. So if you know if, as, a, as a woman growing up, you know it's a less likelihood for you to be successful by having a child. So what you do, you be more proactive. Using condoms. What's that got to do with sure your that choice? You she said, what does that have to do with this choice? This full grown woman is asking this man, what does her making poor choices have to do with his choice to be with her or not? Just silly. The real question that I'm gonna go back to is what does his mama's poor choices have to do with his? A man choosing to deal with a woman who makes bad choices, that's a poor choice. If he's single, childless, he's protected himself. Why in the world will he get with a woman that's made bad choices? and not only made poor choices, but the evidence is there and she's wanting you to be responsible for it, basically. 
No, the brother is right. You don't have to deal with that and you shouldn't. He can date a single childless woman and create his own family with a woman like that instead of taking on another man's responsibility. I don't know why it's so hard for them to understand that. And there are plenty of childless women that he can deal with. If you're getting pregnant, then all right, cool. Maybe I shouldn't continue having this child because I'm not, I, I'm not getting married. I should, I, a better chance of me having a successful life. You're Jacob, speaking of me. Man. That's Excuse what I'm thinking. Me. So you're, you were raised by a single mother. Yes. And is I, your mother still alive? I struggle. My mom's still did alive. Did she struggle or did you struggle? Both of us struggle. Okay. So your words mm -hmm. that echoed all around mm -hmm. social media, and I want to make sure that we have this clearly, were. I'm a high value man. I've done things to step up my echelon and I'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother. Yeah, Did I have sure. that correctly? I want to be clear. Yeah, it will, it will be selling. Yes, Egypt, that's what he said. And I'm glad that brother didn't change his answer. Stand on it. She's like, do you struggle or do your mom struggle? I thought Egypt was smarter than this. If you didn't know when single mothers suffer, their kids are with them. So they are suffering too. In fact, the impact of being raised by a single mother is going to be even more taxing on their children. Everyone is always tiptoeing to protect the feelings of the woman, but they don't care about what they're putting the children through. A lot of the mothers themselves don't care about their kids. The kids are only used as pawns or for checks. And don't get me wrong, you do have good mothers out here, but you also have a lot of bad ones. And all of them lump themselves together because they want to cover for each other under the sisterhood. And that's why I say I don't care if they are married or not. All marriages are not made equal. Obviously, 50% of them are so bad they end a divorce. You have a lot of feminists that are married. You have a lot of misandrists that are married. Being married doesn't automatically rule you out as a feminist. I mean, look at Egypt here. She's been married to her husband for 18 years. Although she told everybody that they sleep in separate bedrooms, but yeah, I'm gonna leave that one alone for now. Egypt though, she will sit up here and defend baby mama culture. No different from when I said Sierra is married to a provider, a protector, all that. And instead of promoting that and respecting her man, she's doing songs talking about being independent. If you wanna know why modern women are losing overall, this is why. The married feminists are still clicked in with the single feminists and they are all rubbing each other's backs, literally. Right, so, what makes you think you're a high value man? The car you drive? No, the value I put out into the world. What about your character? I have great character. I built myself to basically have better choices. You want to know why? Because women can choose and make a choice. They can. They can say, I don't want to date a man that makes they can. six figures. They can. And then what are you doing? You're but demeaning a man. But we're not talking about that. You, women that's can not talk the situation about that he's in. That's, that's not the conversation. Here we go with this bonehead bra cutting him off again. Ma'am, it is the conversation. And you're the one who brought it up, remember? You said that you didn't like how he said that he didn't want to date a single mother. It's totally related. And he's been sitting there patiently when they speak, but whenever he starts to talk, they all want to talk over him. Why? It's because he's speaking the truth and they know it. While they're up there trying to use sign language and the shaming insults and guilt to win the argument, he's speaking the truth, 100%. This is also why a lot of y'all are single and can't get along with the man. You don't listen. This woman here, she can talk, but she won't listen. It's like her opinion is more valuable than his. I'm gonna date a man less than 5'8", and the man could be 5'4". Do they, do they care about- What does that have to do exercising all of those with men? anything? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, oh no, we're body positive. Oh, no, we can't say that. We can't. It's all about picking her up. So every time you're saying something for a man, Bro, it's down. You got, you got a lot on your back. And Egypt, a.k.a. Gina, a.k.a. Tisha Campbell Jr., she's sitting up there looking stupid. You know he's right. And now she's saying that he's got a lot on his back, but when the lady was spewing all that baby bot bimbo babble, it wasn't a lot on her back? No, she's trying to shame him, but everything that the woman said, it made perfect sense. Yeah, okay, man. so what I want to be clear, not rights. just for you, but for everybody out there, is the car you drive, your resume, your bank account, uh -huh. your accolades is not what makes you a high value man. And Egypt, not one time in the conversation did the man say that or insinuate anything that you were saying. All the man said was that he was not gonna date a baby mama. And Gina is over here mad. We are all defined by the sum of our deeds and our character. And you brother are coming up to the sum of zero. Mm. A, B, Do you hear that? 
She said he had no character because he did not want to take on the responsibility for a single mother and another man's child. And he's wrong for that? You see how wicked these feminists are? All of them. And then the baby mama is sitting up there like, thank you, Gina, for having my back. You can't tell the difference between the married feminist and the single feminist. Why? Because they're all the same wicked evil witch. They're all the same feminist. Once again, you have a wife defending baby mama culture and shaming this man for saying that he did not want to date a single mother. And the craziest thing is that he's not the one who brought this up. The woman is the one who brought this up because she wanted to shame him for it. I don't know, I guess they expected him to not say anything back, but he did. And as for this woman and her simp, who was a willing participant on this show, embarrassing himself, allowing this woman to go date other men, doing all of this, sitting up there arguing with her date saying that she wouldn't date him like she really had a choice when he was the one who told her that he didn't want to be with a single mother which is funny how they're presenting it as if she turned him down when it was really the other way around that makes this guy that she's been with look even more crazy i mean doing all of this while her man is sitting right there and this is designed to make him want to propose to her well it worked you big dummy I'm telling you, if this wasn't televised, no one will believe it. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.